Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Today we are going to discuss about uh, electrical bus bar. What is bus bar? And the substation bus bar schemes, different types of bus bar schemes. All these will be discussed in this session. In the previous classes, what is substation? What are the parts in a substation? Bus bar is one of the part of a substation. The electrical and physical arrangements of switching and busing of substation or sub transmission level are determined by the selection of substation bus bar scheme. If the sub transmission level or transmission level based on that bus bar schemes, the selection of particular bus scheme is based on safety, reliability, economy, simplicity, and other consideration. What is a bus bar? Electrical bus bar is a metallic strip or bus bar typically housed inside of a substation, panel boards, and switch gear for load high current and high voltage equipment in electrical switch yards. An electrical bus bar is defined as a conductor or group of conductors used for collecting electric power from incoming feeders and distributes them to outgoing feeders. All the incoming feeders are connected to bus bars because bus bars are mechanically strong and we can easily connect the feeders, incoming feeders and outgoing feeders are also connected. A bus bar system consists of the isolator and the circuit breaker. To open the bus bars, we are using isolator. If any fault occur in bus bars, the circuit breaker trips the system and opens the bus bar. If any bus bar fails to operate, that may be cause a power interruption. They are generally uninsulated bus bars. Why the bus bars are uninsulated? Because of uh, the insulation level for high voltage high current is not sufficient. And the stiffness to be supported by insulated pillars. Insulated pillars are provided for each bus bar. The bus bar size will be different sizes are there. You can see. These are the bus bars which are connected to by insulated pillars or insulators are connected to bus bars and these are mechanically strong. The incoming feeders are connected, all the way feeders are connected and the transformers also we can connect it. These are the bus bars in substation. Bus bars are incoming and the outgoing feeders also connected. Not only that, uh, wherever we want to connect uh, by, by the metallic strip, we can use this. This is the metallic strip. The most common form of the bus bars are 14 to 4 mm, that is 160 mm square, or 15 to 5 mm, 200 mm square. And these are the different sizes of uh, bus bars. It is the magazine size is 1000 mm square, square mm. These various types of bus bar arrangements are used in power system. The selection of bus bar arrangement is based on sub transmission level voltage, flexibility, like uh, different factors like uh, flexibility, cost, etc., economy, simplicity. The most commonly used bus bar and arrangements in substation we will discuss now. The bus bar arrangement is simple and easy in maintenance. We have to choose the bus bar arrangement should be it should be easy and easy maintenance the maintenance system did not affect their continuity power supply if uh, if uh, maintenance is carried out in substation bus bars it should not uh, affect their continuity of uh, substation and different types of bus bar schemes we'll discuss now what is single bus bar scheme and single bus bar with sectionizing switches double bus bar double breaker main and transfer bus scheme double bus single bus scheme ring bus scheme so many types of uh, bus bus schemes are there depending on the cost safety reliability and sub transmission voltage level according to substation location the substations location their cars chosen according to single bus bus scheme or double bus bar scheme single bus bar scheme this is only one bus bar is connected a circuit breaker and isolators are used to disconnect the bus bar these are the isolators. Isolators are nothing but simply switches. Circuit breaker automatically opens in our fault record. It is a bus bar. 
the bus bar are connect uh, made with aluminum hollow cylindrical structure those are and they have mechanical strong only single bus bar is placed and connected to circuit breaker transformer one is connected to outgoing feeder all these outgoing feeders are connected to bus bar similarly oncoming feeders may be connected the single bus scheme has some advantages and disadvantages depending upon economical justification a specific degree of reliability is there in single bus bar scheme the single bus bar scheme only single bus we are using hence it is known as single bus bar scheme like this we have to represent single bus bar arrangement the advantages and disadvantages of single bus bar scheme will discuss now it is its advantages are very simple the scheme is a low cost because only single bus bar we are using and single circuit breaker we are using simple simple in operation only one bus bar is used that's why it is very simple whereas uh, some disadvantages are there if any bus bar single bus bar fails or discontinuity will happen different difficult to do any maintenance because of single bus bar bus cannot be extended without completely de-energizing the substation if you want to extend the bus bar without disconnecting this uh, supply for this bus bar we can't uh, extend this one that's why these are the different uh, disadvantages of single bus bar schemes advantages are simple cost simple construction and the cost also very low only one bus bar is required these are the advantages but disadvantages are there but where economically we have to consider this bus bar scheme will be considered these are single as another modification single bus bar arrangement with the bus and sectionalized switches single bus bar arrangement with bus and sectionalized switches this arrangement here we are using sectionalized switches for two single bus bar schemes are connected circuit breaker and this this is modified version of single bus bar scheme in this bar arrangement circuit breaker and isolated switches are used the isolator disconnect the faulty section of the bus bar hence it protect the system from complete shutdown if any fault occur in this bus bar we can use this bus bar under safety condition under emergency condition we can open the isolator and do maintenance of this bus bar scheme and that is a bus bar with single bus bar with sectionalizing and sectionalizing switches we are using some disadvantages and advantages as discussed previously the advantage of single bus bar scheme is the fault section is removed without affecting continuity of uh, supply that is the advantage of uh, single bus bar with sectionalizing switches disadvantages are there the system is additional circuit breaker and additional isolator is required as is previously additional circuit breaker and additional sectionalizing switches are used the cost will increase that one this is the, the, these are the advantages and disadvantages of single bus bar with uh, sectionalizing switches next another one is double bus bar and double breaker scheme main and transfer bus scheme another one main and transfer bus arrangement this is alternative of double bus bar scheme it is also double bus bar scheme two buses we are using it is a double bus bar scheme it is uses two bus bars one is main bus bar another one is transfer bus if any fault occur if you want to do maintenance on the, this main transfer transfer bus will be connected by using bus coupler by using circuit bus coupler we can connect another bus bar and hence outgoing feeders will be connected to another bus bar this is a bus coupler switch like isolator circuit breaker is also connected between two main and transfer bus and isolator switches are connected incoming feeders and outgoing feeders are connected like this whenever this is alternative double bus system every feeder is directly connected to a second bus called transfer bus some advantages are there and disadvantages for this advantages of initial and ultimate cost in low initial cost and maintenance cost also required any breaker can be taken out for service main bus main bus or transfer bus any one can taken for service continuity and power supply can be maintained through 
bypassing the another bus by using bus coupler. Some disadvantages are there. Required extra breaker for each bus bar and isolators. Switching is same as complicated. Switching is somewhat complicated because doing maintenance of breaker. The advantage of main and transfer bus bar scheme is the continuity of supply is same even in the fault. When a fault occurs on any one of the buses, entire load shifted to another bus that is transfer bus. If any fault occurs in main bus, that will be shifted, entire load will be shifted to another bus. The repair and maintenance can easily done on the bus bar without disturbing their continuity. The maintenance cost of arrangement is less. The potential of the bus is used for operation of relay. The load can easily be shifted to any other bus. Some disadvantages are there because the bus bar use increase the cost. That is, the fault on any bus would cause another complete shutdown of whole substation. These are some disadvantages of main and transfer bus scheme. Next, another one is double bus, double breaker. That is a modification of modification of this double bus, double breaker scheme is main and transfer bus. Here we connected. Once uh, one bus coupler, it acts as main bus bar and auxiliary bus bar. Main bus, main and transfer scheme also similar, but we connected, we connected here in this portion, we connected a bus coupler and circuit breaker. This type of arrangement will be similar to main and transfer bus scheme. Each circuit has two dedicated breakers. Each circuit has uh, two dedicated circuit breakers used and flexibility is permitting feeder circuit to be connected to the either bus. Either bus we can connect any one bus, main bus or auxiliary bus that can be connected by using these isolators. Thus, this flexibility is available. If any one of the bus bar gets heated up due to heavy load, we can connect auxiliary bus bar by opening this isolator and closing this isolator, another bus bar will be connected. It is called double bus, double breaker scheme. Two bus bars and two circuit breakers are connected. Hence, the cost will increase. This is the disadvantage of double bus, double breakers. Most expensive method is double bus bar breaker. Double bus, double breaker scheme is most expensive as we are using two circuit breakers, two isolating switches. The another method is sectionalized using switches. Sectionalized switches we are using for bus coupler and circuit breaker. That is sectionalized double bus bar, double bus, double breaker scheme. This has some advantages because if any fault occur in this section, this circuit breaker trips and isolator can be opened and do maintenance of this. And uh, we can connect outgoing feeders like this. And continuity of power supply can be maintained by the modified sectionalized double bus, double breaker scheme. Another one is one and off breaker arrangement. One and off breaker arrangement means breaker and half scheme, it is also called as one breaker and another breaker is connected like this. And one and half, half of the breaker is connected to this bus bar, this feeder, and another half is connected to another feeder that is breaker and off scheme. Each tie breaker, it is known as tie breakers, outgoing feeders, breaker and off scheme. Because of that, each bus bar connected to one circuit breaker and half, that's why it is called breaker and half scheme. When expansion of substation is required to place or more circuits, a ring bus scheme can be used expanded to one and half breaker scheme. When expansion of substation required to place more circuits, a ring bus scheme can be easily expanded to one and half breaker scheme. This uses two main buses, both are normally energized with the three breakers. For every two circuits, they require three breakers, hence it is called one and half breaker scheme. The next one, advantages and disadvantages of one and off breaker scheme or breaker and off scheme. It protects arrangement against loss of supply because of continuity of power supply will be maintained due to this 
most flexible operation, high reliability, simple in operation, failure of any bus side breaker supply provided by another bus. These are the advantages of one and half breaker scheme. The disadvantages are there for every circuit they require one and half breaker, relaying an automatic reclosing is difficult. The circuit breaking complicated because of relaying system. The maintenance cost is very high. That is relaying an automatic reclosing is difficult for one and half breaker scheme. That are the those are the advantages and disadvantages of main and off breaker scheme. Another is ring bus bar arrangement. You know that ring main system. In ring main system, how it we are using it forms a closed ring. It because of continuity of power supply is there in radial. Uh, the continuity of discontinuity will not be there in radial system. In ring main arrangement, end of the bus bar is connected back to starting point of another bus to form a ring. Where the bus is started, again the bus is completed again here. The bus is started here and again the bus coupler through bus coupler it completed path. It forms a closed ring. It is also known as a mesh type bus scheme. In ring bus configuration, circuit breakers are connected to for the ring with the isolating switches on both sides. A circuit breaker is connected or bus coupler or circuit breaker, both are connected. Both sides we are using isolators. Isolators are used in both sides of a circuit breaker in ring bus scheme. Feeder circuit breakers between breaker and E circuit from both sides. A feeder is equipped with each circuit breaker. If these are the outgoing feeders, outgoing feeders are connected to circuit breaker because if any fault occur on feeders, this circuit breaker disconnects the, uh, the load and bus bar will be in safe condition. The advantage and disadvantage of ring main bus bar scheme is flexible operation for breaker maintenance, high, the highly reliable, discontinuity of power supply will not be carried out. Continuously, we can give the power supply for feeders. If any fault occur in bus sectional area, the, by using bus couplers or bus sectionalizing switches, we can open, we can open this faulty area and we can do maintenance works in ring bus scheme. Some disadvantages are there for this ring bus bar scheme. Future expansion not possible for further development because of ring bus scheme, future expansion not possible. While faulty condition during breaker maintenance period using can be separated into two sections. Two sections, it can be divided while doing any faulty section repair. Complexity in the construction, the construction also complex. This is about different bus bar schemes. The bus bar schemes, what we can use in single bus bar, double bus bar, main and off breaker scheme, ring bus scheme. These are the most common use. After that, they are modified into single bus bar with sectionalizing switches. Previously, it is single bus bar scheme. And single bus bar with sectionalized tie and sectionalizing switches we can use. And another main and transfer bus scheme. There are two buses, one main bus and transfer bus. If any fault occur in main bus bar, we can transfer that into transfer bus and do repair of maintenance works will be carried out in main bus bar. Double bus, double breaker scheme, double bus, double breaker with the tie and sexualizing switches. And these are the various types of main and off breaker scheme, on and off breaker scheme, each circuit having three circuit breakers. Hence it is called one and off breaker scheme and bus coupler we can use for one and a half breaker scheme like this. These are the various uh, bus bus schemes available in substation. The most complex and costly bus bus scheme is double bus double breaker scheme is the most costlier and expensive scheme method. 